After weeks of drought, it would have to cloud over on Derby Day. But rain or shine, the greatest classic of them all is on. The Queen Mother arrives with Princess Margaret and other members of the royal family. The Queen herself has to miss this year's Derby because she's on her way to Sweden. Last minute bets are made with one eye on the weather. Odds were lengthening on the favourite Lavender when it looked as though the going might be firm. But now they're shortening again. A third of the field of 27 are French or French trained, so England's going to have to look to its laurels. There's the Queen's horse Atlas with Harry Carr up, followed by Gilles de Retz and Lord Astor's Hornbeam ridden by Joe Mercer. And Tenere is one of the French hopes. As the horses leave the parade and canter towards the start, it's beginning to rain quite steadily and the umbrellas are going up. They're under starter's orders, not too much temperament. The starter's mounting his platform and with a bit of luck, it won't be long now. No, there's one out of line. Back he goes. This should be it. And they're away. Induna and Idle Rocks are left behind as the field pounds up the stiff climb against driving rain and blustering wind. The rest are bunched together, with Stony Lay slightly in the lead. And now it's Monterey leading Stony Lay and Pirate King as they come up to the bushes. He's a couple of lengths ahead and going nicely, but there's six furlongs to go yet and anything can happen. Passing Tattenham Station and Monterey's a good three lengths ahead. It's downhill now as they thunder towards Tattenham Corner, the spot where so many hopes have been shattered. Can Willie Snaith hold Monterey in front? At the corner, it's still Monterey, but Pirate King's moved up to second place with King David third. And back there in the field, Lavender starting to improve his position. Into the straight, Monterey's leading by three or four lengths and Pirate King's beginning to lose ground. This is where the challenges often start, so Snaith's getting everything he can out of Monterey. If he can increase his lead now, he's got a splendid chance. And now, suddenly out of nowhere, Lavender's overhauling him. Monterey's fighting hard, but inch by inch, the favourite's pulling ahead. And it's Lavender, about a length in front. Monterey's dropping back, and here comes yet another challenge. It's Monteval, but he's left it too late, and Lavender wins by a neck. The judges call for a photograph, but it's Lavender all right, with Monteval second and Roy Starr third. Ray Johnston rides proudly in after his third derby victory, and owner Pierre Wertheim is there to congratulate him. So France has taken first and second places with Ireland third. And though it may have been the wettest derby for many years, it was one of the most exciting finishes of them all.